I'm going to tell you something about this LGBTQI obsession of the West. My mother told me when I was a teenager that about 30% of boys are attracted to other boys when they're adolescents and they grow out of it. It's been known. She told me that in the 70s. But what they're doing is mutilating boys who want to be girls, mutilating them, cutting off their genitals. And people don't know about what they did to our people, the Aboriginal people of Australia, who were related to the Vedas of Sri Lanka, that was well known in the 1940s. They called them Vedo, Vedo asteroid people. And the Vedas were the hunters, that's what Veda means, hunter. The Vedas knowledge was called the Vedas. Didn't come from the Brahmins in India. Came from Sri Lanka, the Vedas. When the British left India, only 5% of Indians were literate. 90% of Sri Lankans were literate, but not literate in English, they were literate in Singhala and Tamil. So, they don't tell you anything about the people, the real history of Australia, the great southern land. Great southern land, we're not part of the west, we're south, that's where us mean. And before Captain Cook's fraudulent claim, fraudulent claim of mad King George, King George the Third, uh, three Three quarters of the Australian coastline had been chartered by the Dutch, who called it New Holland. But they didn't claim it because it was illegal to claim land that was already occupied, according to Roman Dutch law of the 1700s. So Captain Cook, he sailed with a secret instruction that he was supposed to open after pretending to be looking at the conjunction of Venus, the planet Venus, within the Pacific Islands. I, mean, I think it might have been Tahiti, but I'm not quite certain. But he was told to sail south and plant the flag on the east coast. Now, the people who lived here, and this is from an account of a historical book that was written in the 1870s that there were two-story wooden houses along the east coast of Australia, two-story wooden houses. And there was rainforest and there were huts because Thomas Pamphlet uh, who is credited with discovering Brisbane. Uh, Thomas Pamphlet was a criminal, a thief from New South Wales who had been released and was trying to sail south to Tasmania for get cedar, timber. They called it all the trees cedar. They're not cedar. Uh, gum trees, they all called them cedar hardwoods. So Thomas Pamphlet and his mate Finnegan and another guy, three of them, they were in a boat and they got drifted up north instead of going south to Tasmania from Botany Bay or Port, Jack Port Jackson. They sailed north where they got blown off course and then they got shipwrecked in what they call Morton Bay. 
and they were looked after by Aboriginal people, Yagara people. And Thomas Pamphlet said he reported this after they supposedly rescued him and took him back to New South Wales where he in fact got locked up again. Uh, Thomas Pamphlet said he walked down a little path and found a man, an Aboriginal man standing outside his hut with his child. And he picked up the child. He says, What do you want? Do you want to kill me? The judge who he told the story to said he was delirium from the shipwreck. <laughs> 